Still here at the Dripping Pound after the Carl Schultz and Athletic register, a 1-0 win over Lewis. They must be the sick of the sight of us, Chads. What do you reckon? They definitely hate us, especially after a goal that after the crowd thought wasn't a goal. They definitely hate us. I don't know how many that is. We've won in a row or been undefeated. It's, it's nine games, and I'd just like to say that the, the, the staff of Lewis have looked after us really well today. So I've got, got no complaints in that respect. But uh, I know what you mean. When you've got a, a team that you've kind of got a hoodoo over, yeah, it's... Yeah. Bogey team. We, we've, we've been there with casuals, uh, Merstrom. So it's nice to be on the other end for a change. <laughs> so, but yeah, it wasn't a classic, but three points is three points, isn't it? been joined by goalkeeper Cletton Pertry, who's the proud owner of a clean sheet this afternoon. Um, Clet, so it was quite a battle out there today though, wasn't it? What was it like from your perspective? Yeah, it was a, it was a really tough game. The pitch wasn't it wasn't great and the wind didn't help at all, especially the first half. Every kick we just kept coming back to us. So uh, I think we, we all stuck in together as a team and uh, we battled a 1-0 win and uh, a win is a win. Wind? What wind? What are you talking about? I don't know what, don't know what you mean. No. I just picked up a little bit now. <laughs> been very fortunate to be joined by the host chairman, Stuart Fuller. Um, Stuart, commiserations firstly. Um, another home game without three points. What, can, can you put your foot on why this, this run's been happening this season? I don't know. Uh, our record here in 2019 was poor. We only won four games. Uh, and again today, apart from that, you know, we had a 15-minute opening spell where we were a bit unsure. Half an hour where I thought we were on top. Second half, you know, we create chances, you create chances. We just don't seem to get the, the run here, whereas away from home, it's a completely different team or completely different performance, despite the fact we play the same team. Talk to me about the goal, because if we were playing fantasy football, not only would you get points for a clean sheet this afternoon, you'd get a points for an assist. Yeah, yeah. well, I think I've, I've tried it a few times this year. I've tried to hit Christie or Ricky uh, over, the, over the defenders' heads, and I've done it a few times, just didn't manage to score, but today, thankfully, uh, with the help of the liner as well, obviously, uh, she pointed out was a goal. Uh, finally got it, so nice little assist for us. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, to be fair, some of the Lewis fans said that the ball was over the line from, from their perspective, so it was definitely in. That's good, that's good to hear as well. Yeah. Did you have a, a view on the goal? Because from where I was looking, I couldn't tell if it was in or out. Um, well, I was actually standing sort of just up there, bizarrely, when it went in. Um, I thought it went in. Um, I think that it was a little bit disappointing that it took the lines or the assistant referee about five or six seconds to flag. Um, yeah. But there's no complaints for us. Um, I think you know there may have been a handball in the in the build up, but at the end of the day, the referee's got a job to do. He didn't see that. We played on. You know, Christie's effort was well. I thought it was well saved, and then we just couldn't get the ball out. So yeah, no complaints. An assist for the goalkeeper. You don't see that too often. No, that's very true. He's he's kicking. He's immense. And I mean that was that was really really good. Just dropped it straight in onto Christie's foot, sort of thing. So. Yeah, he's done well, Clayton, since he's come in. Got no complaints with him. He's kept us in the game a couple of times here. So, onwards to Saturday to Wingate. First half, you took a bit of a blow to the head. You were brave coming into a, onto a cross. What happened there? Uh, it was just one of those. Uh, it was just it was a front post cross, mid-height. So, you know people are going to challenge for it with the head. So, I just went in, got two fists to it. And then suddenly, I just saw a head just glazed my head. And uh, at the beginning, it was a bit painful. But then, as as the time went on, it fell fine. So in the second half, Lewis came on us a little bit. They created two or three good chances. As you say, Kletz made a couple of good saves. They hit the crossbar of a header as well. So we rode our luck a little bit, but it's nice to see us grind, grind out a win for once. Yeah, and uh, to keep their clean sheet, that's been elusive for a lot of the season. Uh, the boys done well. The boys done well. Um, I don't know. Lewis look a good side. They're going <laughs> to... They're Where's their kit? <laughs> yeah, they, they're going to cause teams problems in the second half of this season. I think they'd be there or thereabouts. But we've done what we had to do. We've come here to get the three points and we're going home with the three points. You can't ask for more from the fellas. There's not a case for, for VAR coming down to this level of football, is there? <laughs> well, if you look at that and also the, the, you know, there was a chance in the first half that we had where it was a long crossfield ball from Stacey Freeman and Deshaun, you know, controlled it and the ball came up and hit his arm. And then his shot was well saved by the keeper and the referee didn't see that. So, you know, you could say that, you know, there was, but no, no, do not get VAR anywhere near this league. We're <laughs> not interested. We're not interested. None whatsoever, yeah. yeah. Um, but as you say, spirited second half performance. Uh, Stacey clipped the top of the bar. Yes. Um, he had a couple of chances well saved by the car short and goalkeeper. So, you know, I, I think, although you're sort of down there, there or thereabouts, I think you'll be okay for the rest of the season. Yeah, we're, we're sort of 10, 12 points clear of the danger. Um, our frustration is that this year we wanted to to do better than last year. We finished 11th last year, so we want to be top half. And all of a sudden, there's now a little bit more of a gap to sort of like 10th and 9th. 
and that's our concern. Um, you know, we have no concerns about relegation. We've still got a couple of players coming back. So Ronnie Connor, who's been out for a year, was, you know, we're, we're bringing him back slowly. Harry Reid as well, we're bringing him back slowly. So, and we're also still looking to strengthen the squad. Um, we've not really recovered since losing John T. Smith in the transfer window last year. You know, a, a striker who's going to get you 15, 20 goals. We haven't got that. And and, uh, and again, you, he's cried out for it today. Just somebody who can get on the end of balls into the box, yeah. The win today puts us up into fourth place. Um, Luke Reed told us last week it's all about momentum. Um, obviously, the defeat in the week was in the cup, so it doesn't count towards this. Um, what do you think about the win ga game next week? Uh, massive game, massive game. We just keep, we need, just need to keep getting three points every week. Uh, nothing, it doesn't matter how we get it. That's what the gaffer said uh, before the match. It's, it's all about getting three points, especially this time of the season. It's just all about picking up points, picking up points every week, and uh, it doesn't matter how. Just finally, I want to say uh, thank you very much to you and your staff for looking after us so well today, even though we are your hoodoo team. I, I didn't want to bring that up too much, but you've looked after us really well today, uh, yet again. Nine defeats in ten games, I believe. Yeah, you got a draw at ours yeah. early in the season. In every single one by a single goal, I believe as well, which yeah. is just a little bit frustrating. But yeah, yeah, you know, we enjoy coming to your place. Um, I think we have some good games. You know, we we, we respect Peter, and and, and you know, obviously he's an ex rook, and he's got some friends down here still. And you play football, you know, a good way, and we like the philosophy and the and the the approach that the club take in terms of the community as well. So. You know, I think we're, we're very similar as clubs um, and we always enjoy decent, you know, exciting games against you. So uh, from that point of view, yeah, next season we'll we'll put it right. That's it. That's <laughs> Clean sheet, assist, next week a goal, yeah? Might as well. If we get, if we get a bit windy day, yeah, might, we'll try. Uh, I'll tell you what, if this weather condition keeps up, you might be in for it. <laughs> That's it. We'll give it a goal. <laughs>